another Saturday, another place. Uh, today we are in David. Uh, today we're in Picnic Island. Uh, yeah. Usually it's a place where we come. Uh, Leslie and I would come here to play like frisbee golf. It's a really nice area. It has a really nice beach, and the dogs can play all along chasing the frisbee. You can see there. That one is one of the best ones. Uh, this one is whole 16, I think it is. Go all the way here, straight, until a tiny flag that is kind of like around there. But you got the chance of going into the water. But today we're not talking about freaky golf stuff. Today it's about a blog about this lady. So this is a video of Lucy. There's a lot to cover. Let's start with the beginning. A 2015 Ram Promaster diesel, 2500 with the extended wheelbase. It's a 159 inch. We build a small deck to it. We can sit down at night, just eat something or like just change the scenery from being inside the van. So everything is power. Well, not everything is power by this, but like a lot of the power for the batteries come from these two uh, solar panels. Each one is 175 watts. They're both connected in series, I want to say. They go down that way to the, uh, to the batteries. We also install um, a max air fan. This thing will lift up. Uh, you have seen it on the other videos. Okay, that's for the outside. The inside of the van. <laughs> so, let's start from the back to the front. A great bed, we have firm mattress. It's about three inches thick. Four. Four inches thick. <laughs> and you can fit your whole body laying down and you have this nice cool air coming down from the fan and these lights are dimmable as well. In the back we have all of our necessities that we need for sleeping, um, a place to put all our, all of our things, reading lamps that are dimmable on each side. We have all of our chargers here, 9 volt. 9 volt, 12 volt, 12 volt. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have our cabinets that are easily accessible for when we want a um, pair of socks. And we have a perfect ceiling. We made it ourselves. Yeah, well, like everything else. <laughs> but it's cedar. It's a cedar ceiling and it's a great ceiling. Uh, I think it gives it a nice warm look in here. and. Um, gives it like a nice overall presence to the van. Okay, now for our shower. Curtain that draws back, weighted on the bottom so it doesn't move. It has a nice handle you can remove and you know, move freely uh, with the power rod. And then additionally, uh, you can control the temperature here, hot and cold. We do have a water pump uh, and a heater. Okay, now we have our toilet. It's a um, pretty standard toilet, but comfortably. Anytime, any place. This is the butcher block that we chose for the kitchen. I think it really matches everything uh, that we were going for. Um, you have a prep area that we had, you know, kept in mind that we wanted some space to make the food. Uh, we wanted to make sure that our oven, um, that's fully functional um, and electric, had ventilation uh, to the outside, and um, we also had butcher block here, you know, to use that as a cutting board. Um, so the butcher block is fully extendable. You can make this um, an extra area really important as you're utilizing space in the van, uh, you know, or whenever you need some additional prep space for you know, getting the dog's food ready or, um, you know, going out for the day. Now we're going to show you the vent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to show you the bench. This is actually really helpful for 
for us whenever we're, you know, looking for storage in any place that we can. And um, so this allows us to have more storage for the dogs, uh, for their food. Uh, that we I just think it's funny that you try to open it and open it the whole way. It does open the whole way, it's just like the recliner or seat is like all the way back. So you can actually pull it up. Everything in the van works, but like there's just enough space for everything. So yeah. This is our window. <laughs> what are you doing? Because you told me to clean up this every time. Now this window we made ourselves. Oh, this is awesome. You can sit here and admire all the views. Um, you can charge your phone and your laptop here. Um, and whenever it's dark, you can also use this as a reading light, mood light. Yeah, you can open it and it comes with also with like, um, how's it called, like a mosquito net. So you can just always open and now you close it. <laughs> See, it does lock. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can just keep it with a mosquito net so you can always just like lay down there and you don't have to worry about mosquitoes coming in or you can open it all the way if you want like if you're into that sort of stuff. A right, couple of things that Leslie forgot to mention about the kitchen. Uh, we have a full um, full fridge, uh, cooler and fridge. Uh, cooler is not that big but it's a 12 volt. Uh, look inside. inside of it. Uh, right now it's a little bit messy. We have like uh, pancakes uh, this a uh, few days ago, so everything is a little bit messy. This is like the plumbing section of the van. All of it that is go from the sink, it goes to a, a great water tank that we have underneath. It's a 15 gallon uh, great water tank. Um, so yeah, we just make sure to dump it whatever is allowed. We have a water filtration system. And the only electrical part that you're gonna see here, I'm not that happy about it, but is this thing it allows us to control the part that I will show you later. But this allows us to control the water heater, to turn on the water heater or to turn on the stove. For the inside of the van. Now, I'm gonna show you my favorite part of this van. doesn't work I can always uh, anyway what I was saying uh, both of them are uh, well the first thing that we decided to do with the garage was building a couple of trays everything of the garage was built around the bicycle uh, this there's a lot of wind today um, these two trays can hold 330 pounds we built this one specifically to be able to hold like the two bicycles plus bonus extra I can fit my wallet this one right here, it holds mostly uh, all of our equipment. Uh, this is all our climbing gear. Uh, this is camping equipment and things that the dogs will use. We have a couple of beds for them whenever we go out hiking. And this one right here, we're using it for things that, if anything goes wrong in the van and for us to be able to charge things in the van. There's cables there and things that I might need just in case like. Just in case we got to a place that we can like plug in the van and charge, we can do that. If the battery dies, we have something there to like keep it alive. Uh, yeah, it's just things to run around. All right, uh, part of our water system goes here in the back. Everything was kind of like balanced it out. Here's our electrical. I will show you all of that in a second. And here's our, our part of uh, all of our water and plumbing system. Uh, we also decided to put an outside shower uh, just in case like if we go out, just in case if we go out and the dogs get dirty or something like that, we can always give it a shower. You open it here and you got there your uh, hot water, cold water and your whole hose. All of this can come out and you can attach it here. So if you feel risky, you can like take an outdoor shower. Uh, we're going to be a lot in the forest, so you can always take an outdoor shower. Pretty good. Uh, the water pump, you just, uh, sorry, the water tank, fill water pass valve, PVC, you just put it there, stick the, the hose there, fill it up, close it when you're done. Uh, this one is just to air out, it goes all the way down and it also works as an, uh, if it fills more than here, it will start draining down down there. Uh, this is just for the hot water coming from there to the, to the shower and the cold water coming from the shower. Everything goes through here to a water pump that is in the back of it. It's a three and a half, no, it's a three gallon water pump. Okay, now I'm gonna show you that part. That part is the part that I'm most proud of. Just a second. Not that much 
space. Uh, this is like the whole electrical power of the band. This thing right here is called the MPPT charger controller. Uh, this is a fuse system to control all the things inside the, inside the house. Safety first. This is our inverter, 2000 watts. It allows us to run the kitchen, um, the water heater, and uh, we have an outlet wall, a wall outlet, just like the ones that you have at home. Uh, it's just connected to that, so it's always providing charge to it. This is um, a DC to DC battery charger, like it says there. Uh, it basically charged from the battery of the car. We have two batteries of uh, lithium batteries, um, each one 100 amps, 12.8 volts. They're connected in parallel series one of those two and they're uh it's still a 12 volt circuit but 200 amps they're, they just combine uh basically what this does is this turns on and it charges the batteries from energy from the outside like if you allow me i can go to your house plug in and just run the van from there looks pretty sweet So yeah, so the plan is we're gonna take it for a long road trip in July. Uh, we'll be back in Tampa in September uh, or the end of August. We'll be back in, July, in Tampa by the end of August and then that thing is going for sale. I cannot wait to build the second one. <laughs> See you in the next one.